Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today, my friends, we are doing a little bit of work on the Becker BK2 knife. Now, in the past, you guys saw some of the custom work that I did to it. You guys may have even seen this beautiful Skystorm leather sheath. But a couple days ago, one of our viewers who wishes to remain anonymous sent us in some wooden handles for this knife. And you know, the truth is, I've always kind of wanted to replace the handles. They're not my favorite. So we might as well pop these on there. Now, I will go ahead, move the camera around here, and show you everything that we got here on the table that I'm going to use, and then we'll get started. So here we have it, my friends. We have the knife itself, which will take the handles off here in just a minute. We have the tool to go ahead and do that. We have the handles. We also have a multi-tool here with a screwdriver, which we'll use for this right here. And we also have some oil, which we will use just to put on the blade, make sure it doesn't rust, and there you go. So before we get started, I might as well show you the knife one more time, just in case you guys haven't seen my previous videos, it's definitely possible. But check out that custom work there. I think that looks personally very, very awesome. I took off the original coating, stripped it off, and did some patina work, which I happen to like a great deal. Also did a little bit of custom work here on the spine of the knife. Take a look at that. There's that patina. I'll go ahead and show you the sheath up here, up close as well. Like I said, this is from Skystorm Leather. You can find them on eBay. I will have a link for you in the description box if you're interested. They have a bunch of different makes, models, different colors of leather, so on. So you might find something you like. They definitely do good work. They have fantastic reviews. You definitely can't go wrong there. As you saw, I do have some oil. This is actually some gun oil, but it will work just fine on your blade as well. And now since I took the coating, the finish off of this knife, it's important to keep it nice and oiled so it doesn't rust. You know, it's just like any other tool in your arsenal. You have to take care of it. It doesn't matter what it is. You have to care for your gear or it won't last. That's it. So, all right guys, we might as well get started here. I'm gonna move the camera and we'll take it apart. All right. As you could probably see, right here you have the screws. So we're gonna use a hex tool right here just to get that taken off. Luckily, taking these handles off is nice and easy, nothing to it. Okay, there we go, we'll go ahead and move those out of the way. I want to show you this here. You might be able to see that there's a nice ring of oil around this, and that is just because I take care of my gear. I take care of my blades, I take care of my guns, I take care of my backpacks and tents, and they last forever. As you can see there, not a bit of rust. Very, very well taken care of. So we have our multi-tool here, which you guys have seen before. We have the screwdriver. And just in case you are interested, this is the Leatherman Skeletool. And we almost got the last screw out here. Okay. You might have been able to see those screws. This is what I would call a socketed screw. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what the actual technical name is. But you can see that's just basically how it's held together. And you have a Phillips side on both sides. Now before we put these on, let's go ahead and oil this. Let's take care of it. I want to make sure to get this nice and oiled as well. Okay, so this oil here is just a Hops 9. Works very well. I've been using this stuff for years on my guns. I use it on my knives as well. And a little bit goes a very long way.
And it doesn't take much, folks. You can put it on the blade itself. You can put it on a paper towel if you want to. I just like to put a little drop here and there. Okay. We'll flip that over. Do the same thing. Just a real light coating of oil. There we go. Going to be in good shape. You might be able to see that oil there. Okay. Very, very good shape now. We are now ready to go. And this is just a super simple thing to do here. You just line up the holes. Drop the socketed screw into each place. Nothing to it. Flip it over. Lay it down. Line it up. Drop the screws. And tighten. All right, my friends. Well, we got the knife completed, the handles are on, and I have to say that it looks pretty darn sharp, if I say so myself. Pretty nice. Let me give you a close-up. Not bad at all. Looks pretty darn good, especially in conjunction with this sheath. Not bad. I like it. The individual who sent me these handles said that he bought them off of eBay but doesn't remember who the seller was. I've done a little bit of searching around and my guess is that it came from an individual known as T Mill 2009. I will put a link in the description box to their eBay page in case you're interested. Just like the Skystorm sheath, there's plenty of different options, types of wood, types of stain, so on and so forth. And it does look like most of those handles run around 40 bucks. So there you go. Like I said before, the individual who sent me those handles stated that they wish to remain anonymous, which I completely understand and respect. And they also said they didn't want payment for these. So I think they would appreciate it. I am gonna do an act of kindness for somebody else. Um, basically the next time I'm in town, I guess I'll stop by a fast food joint, grab a cup of coffee, and I'll pay for the order for the person behind me. You know, I always believe in paying it forward. You know, when someone does a good deed for you, might as well do a good deed for somebody else and just keep it going, right? We're all in this together. So guys, I do wanna say thank you very much for watching this video. To the individual who sent the handles, I wanna say thank you very much, appreciate it. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, contact me. I'll do my best to address them. Make sure to check out our Facebook page, The Outdoor Gear Review. Our website, theoutdoorgearreview.com. Take care, everybody. Be well.